Hello everyone, just another video for those that are interested in seeing inside their Kona and getting some of the information that's not currently available on the display screens. But this is uh, the auto link that comes from Hyundai and uh, it is the, the OBD2 port that gets plugged in with a little wire on the side and tracks all your uh, movement and speed and braking and that's what the the app uses to give you the data but uh, if you want to get some further information that is delivered but um, not accessible normally you should get uh, one of these OBD2 links this one's the MX Plus I believe there's um, also a there's also an LX and pretty sure you want the one that's um, both Apple and Android uh, available and you want one with Bluetooth so this is the one I've got uh, we just plug it in down on the uh, OBD2 port it's very simple and it uh, boots up and then you load or oh, buy the um, Talk app I think it's only a couple bucks and You've got to do a little bit of fiddling around, but uh, if you're if you're interested in the insides of what the computer's reporting, then it probably won't be too much hassle for you. Uh, if there's too many people finding it difficult, then I'll do a video. But you should be able to search for it on the net anyway and and get it done. There are some pretty good videos out there on how to do it. So here we just hit, click on real time information. Now I've already set mine up, um, the car's turned on and here we go, we get to see um, quite some good information, just turn that down a bit, <laughs> um, average battery temperature, uh, 27, 27, 27, 28, um, the average there obviously, the state of charge that's been reported by the BMS, 97.5. Now, my car's currently sitting at 100% um, state of charge, which is displayed, so I'm not entirely sure why um, why that is. Uh, once again, we'll have to do some further investigation. Uh, the battery inlet temperature, 28 degrees. Uh, I'm currently pulling 300, oh, sorry, 3, 0.3, 0.5 amps. Uh, the car's turned on uh, interior lights dash and that sort of thing so not too much um, 100, 120 160 watts there that's what that's saying um, the battery voltage now um, the battery voltage should be 400 well it charges up to 411 so whether the actual voltage of the pack voltage is 411 that's another thing so uh, the capacitor there 407 um, state of health 100% so I'm not entirely sure how that's calculated but it must be seeing something uh, outdoor temperature 25 uh, when you actually DC fast charge I'm assuming the battery fan speed comes on and um, yeah so here's all the cell voltages uh, it actually takes quite a long time to set all these up because you have to move them critically. You can see on this one I've actually um, put on several decimal places there. Uh, probably only two decimal places is required. But you can see that uh, some are fluctuating a little bit. Uh, there are 98 cells. So probably a little bit of balancing has gone on in my last couple of charges that I've done up to 100%. Um, average cell voltage 4.16 so 4.16 per cell yeah okay so that that's about right yeah um, it tells me down here which cell is the highest and um, which cell is the lowest and the V diff is the voltage difference uh, and it's currently showing zero that uh, th all the cells are pretty much equal so there's nothing too dr dramatic there 
these are ones I'm not really using that much at the moment, but it's the accumulated current that has been um, used, sorry, uh, input and used, and uh, how many kilowatt hours uh, have been charged and discharged. Now, I haven't, I don't know if those numbers are correct, but it's a bit hard to figure out with the regenerative braking if that's calculated in because uh, when you take the kilometres driven and the consumption that's on the display, you don't get, using this discharge figure, you don't get the same amount of consumption so I have to work out what that number is so yeah there's a quick rundown on the torque app that you can install if you want to uh, uh, check out some of the further information and it might be handy to check this out while you're doing a fast charge and watch what's going on thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one